Hello guys, welcome back to another Blu-ray hunting episode. Today I am in Haverford West, um, out and about. Um, staying in our hotel actually, the Hotel Mariners. Um, Hannah's working here, so she's invited me along. I'm obviously off work, and because I'm off work, I just thought may as well come along for the night. So we're gonna go Blu-ray hunting in a place I've never been, so we'll see. I know tomorrow I'm going to Carmarvan because they've got a CEX there. So we're just gonna go and find what we can find. And yeah, I've got a haircut as well, so feeling a bit better. Um, but yeah, let's just go and have a look. I know there's two charity shops here, so at worst, we'll have that. So yeah, let's go and see what we can find. Here we go then, let's go into Bernardo's, the first charity shop that we are finding. A very nice looking green door. Let's go in and have a look. A nice little media section at the back. Um, there's a few DVDs here, it's complicated. Um, there's only one Blu-ray I can see, uh, Paul Carrack live in 3D. So uh, yeah, if anyone was interested in this, you can get it here. But I never even heard of Paul Carrack, so there's that one. Uh, some DVDs here that you can see. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get the Lord of the Rings there, the Fellowship of the Ring. Um, and then there's also the Two Towers. So they've got the whole trilogy of Lord of the Rings there, as well as uh, Sweeney Todd. So a few DVDs. Uh, but they're 50 pence each as well as the CDs, so not a bad price. Uh, also the Dictator with a slip cover there. Looks basically brand new, this does. Um, and then also It Could Happen to You, starring Nicolas Cage and Bridget Fonda. Um, there's also some more DVDs at the bottom. I don't usually look at DVDs, but because we're here, I thought I'll take a look. Iron Giants, a movie I haven't seen for a very long time. Reminds me of my childhood. Uh, Scooby Scooby-Doo meets Batman, something I've never heard of. We've also got a little Christmas bucket here with Nativity, Danger in a Manger. Uh, but let's go to Oxfam, that's next door. Let's take a little look in Oxfam um, and see what other stuff they've got. A nice little DVD section here. Uh, but at the top, we've got some Blu-rays and a nice little stack. So Les Mis, uh, there's some Annie there, Now You See Me Too, The Haunting, Scary Movie. Um, and also Due Date, 99p. Um, so a pretty decent price for some uh, Blu-rays here. Paranormal Activity, the first one as well as uh, Buried, starring Ryan Reynolds for 99p. So, some decent pickups there. Poundland, though, uh, same old crap. Really, really thought we may get some stuff here because this is a small town, so I didn't think much people would be buying stuff, but it's just the same as everywhere else, to be honest with you. It's just all the same. I'm a bit bored of it now. Seeing in the sights, however, it is gray. Got a nice river here, though. Uh, as I say, extremely windy. Very gray. Yeah. Back into the hotel room now then. If I try and turn the lights on. I think I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Maybe it's these lights over here. I think I have problems with these two you're on. I think it is one. It's a bit better than I think. But uh yeah. Back in the room. This is our room. It's quite an old dated hotel, but it's it's it'll do. It's lovely. The deco itself is dated, but the actual hotel itself is really clean and stuff like that. So it looks pretty cool. It's nice to stay somewhere like this. Only the one pickup in this evening's very quick Blu-ray hunt. I was out for literally 40 minutes. Um, they go to a few stores. There was one store that I saw called Entertainment Exchange, which was basically a ripoff of CEX, but it was closed. There was a guy in the back doing repairs, but it wasn't uh, wasn't open. So. I'm hoping tomorrow morning I can go there before before we actually head off um, and maybe get a chance to go there. So um, yeah, it was pretty good. We're also going to Kex tomorrow in Carmarthen, which is good. So um, yeah, that's basically it. But I'll see you guys in the morning where we're gonna head to Carmarthen. Here we go then, the day after we're in Carmarthen, a bit of a busier town, uh, CEX year. So uh, let's take a look what we've got inside. Uh, Blue is halfway up at the back. Uh, they've got Labyrinth here in 4K with a slip cover um 15 pound uh looks really good as well uh, i've got this movie though not one i'm going to be picking up but it's in it's here if anyone's interested uh also lone survivor 10 pounds but no slip cover i know this one does come with a slip normally uh no images on the back which is quite weird but uh yeah lone survivor i like this film to be honest with you good movie uh, they've also got Hunger Games, uh, that's a £6 pickup. I think this just comes from the box set, it's just the one movie on his own, I believe. Not too sure, but yeah, that's there for £6. And then they've got a Blu-ray version of uh, Saving Private Ryan, which very much looks like brand new. Um, not the 4K, obviously this is on 4K, but they have it on Blu-ray for £3. Uh, they've got then a complete series of Peaky Blinders, seasons 1 to 3. This is on Netflix and also iPlayer and all, I believe, but uh, they've got the Blu-ray here uh, for £8 for the three seasons. 
Uh, nice looking spine, but you know, an incomplete series in terms of there's more series yet to come. Uh, Star Wars Episode Eight as well. We've got The Last Jedi. Um, you can see here, nice looking slip cover, but that's eight pounds. And then they've got here a movie called Serenity Real Heroes. I'm not sure if this is linked to like Kick-Ass. It looks similar to the slipcover I picked up the other week for, for Kick-Ass. Uh, it is written and directed by Josh Whedon. So I need to read up on this, but I'm not too sure. That's £4. Uh, they've got some X-Men stuff at the bottom, but I believe I've got most of these. I need to really like catalogue my stuff because I don't know which movies I've actually got right now. Uh, then they've got The Greatest Showman with a slipcover in 4K. This is extremely like rare, really, this slipcover. Um, people can't tend to get it, but you know it's here for eight pounds. If anyone was interested, they've also got Escape Plan. This is a movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone, as well as the Emoji Movie, which well, people don't tell me good things. So guys, I am back from my trip. Um, we had a great trip. It was good. We went away Friday night. It was Hannah's works. Um, she had to work basically away. Um, and kindly her work said I could go um, along. And um, as you guys saw, I went on the Blu-ray hunt. We went to Haverford West uh, to stay the night. And then on the way back home, we went to Carmarthen um, to check out the CEX on the way back. So um, yeah, big thanks to Hannah for uh, inviting me along. I um, had a great time. And um, yeah, these are what I picked up. I got three... Blu-ray pickups uh, today. So I was pleased to have them. I say today, I've been back like, we came back this Monday right now, the day I'm uploading this. So kind of just been a bit hectic over the weekend. But anyways, um, three pickups. Um, one from Haverford West, which was the, the beginning where we went. And we went to some charity shops. Um, there was actually a few charity shops there. Um, there was a few Blu-rays in one in Oxfam. And I picked up one pickup for 99 pence. This is a movie I've been looking at for a while um, from many different people. Um, I, one I've never seen and an actor that I want to kind of get into a little bit more of his other films um, other than his like popular one. So uh, yeah, that movie is Due Date. And the actor there being Robert Downey Jr. Now, I haven't really seen much of Robert Downey Jr.'s other stuff other than Iron Man. So this is Due Date is a movie I've kind of missed over the, the last few years. But yeah, I saw it. It was 99p uh, from Oxfam. So a great deal for a, a 99p Blu-ray uh, in a charity shop. So I'm happy, for, happy to have that. Also has got Zach Galafianikas in it. Um, he is basically in The Hangover. Um, that's all I know him from. But yeah, it looks like a comedy movie. Due date, star Rob Down Jr. And Zach Galifianakis. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to watch this. As I say, I've been looking for this for a while. Um, so for a 99p pickup, pretty pleased to have that so that was the charity shop pickup and the only one in Haverford West as I said I didn't really know what was going to be in Haverford West didn't know what was going to be there didn't know um, what stores they'd have what you know charity shops would be there I had no idea so yeah we did go to Kex on the way home though and I did pick up a, a further two blu-rays there uh, there's two of these really uh, kind of obviously due date was one I was looking at for a while one of these two as well was another movie I've been looking at for a while. And then the other one was one actually recommended by a viewer, by a comment. So, uh, yeah, the one I was looking at for a while, though, um, and, and been looking for is Straight Outta Compton. This is the um, NWA biopic movie, uh, Dr. Dre, Easy e etc., etc. £1.50 uh, pickup with a slipcover, which looks really good. Um, I was actually hoping to get a 4K of this, but believe it or not, it doesn't actually exist. It's only in Blu-ray. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm pleased to get it with a slip cover though, and that means this is very well protected and and basically like brand new. And um, the disc is itself is great as well. So uh, Studio Compton is going to be a revisited movie. I know I absolutely love this because I've saw it many times when I was uh, working in the cinema at the time. Uh, One pound fifty there in 2015, and um, when it came out. And as I say, I work I was working in the cinema when this actually was out. So I was using a lot of my free tickets to to see this many many times and um yeah i'm excited to watch her again for the channel and i also have in my collection because this is one i needed i definitely needed so uh one pound fifty there for straight out of compton so the final movie then was recommended by a viewer i believe it was in a comment uh, i may have filmed it in a, in a keck store and, and that's just for everyone, if you think I filmed something that I maybe haven't picked up that I should, please comment in these Blu-ray hands because I do take those uh, comments on board. And if I see the movies again, it sticks in my mind that I had a comment on that and I need to check that out. It's been recommended by a viewer. So, yeah. And this is the movie I picked up. It's a £3 pickup from 1999 and it is called The Green Mile. This stars Tom Hanks um, and it won four Academy Award nominations for Best Picture, Best Supporting Actor, Best Screenplay and Best Sound. It is directed by Frank. Frank Darabont and yeah I'm 
It's based on the novel by Stephen King. So I'm really looking forward to this movie. Many people have said, like, I filmed it once or twice. And I think I had two or three people say, you should check this out. Starring Tom Hanks, as I said. And it also stars David Morse, Bonnie Hunt, Michael Clark, uh, Michael Clark Duncan, James Cromwell, Michael Jetta, Graham Greene, Doug Hutchinson, Sam Rockwell. Yeah, there's a quite a lot of names in there, actually. <laughs> Music by Thomas Newman and based on the novel as said by Stephen King, produced by David Valdez and Frank Darabont as well as directed by Frank Darabont. But yeah, Green Mile, three pound picker from 1999. Uh, I was also shocked to see that it's a, actually a 188 minute runtime. So a pretty long movie. I'm going to have to <laughs> grab uh, some popcorn, maybe some lunch and some dinner for this three hour film. But I'm, I'm pretty happy to, to check this out. I'm not going to read the blurb. I like to go into these type of films blind. I have no idea what it's about. Um, I'm kind of getting the impression that he's some sort of like security guard or some sort of police officer. I'm not too sure. Um, just based off his hat, obviously. Or even army. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I'm not going to read too much into it i like to go into some films blind and this is going to be one of those uh starring tom hanks as i say and um yeah three pound pickup so pleased to have that so thanks for the viewer whoever it was i can't remember who it was but you definitely commented thanks for the comment because i picked it up so um, i'm happy with all of the pickups from today as i say two from kex in uh, Carmarthen, straight out compton and green mile and then do did from a charity shop for a pound so some good pickups there 4ks were, were pretty pretty lackluster i've picked up one or two 4ks that i had delivered this week so this, i've already done quite well on 4ks um so i'm not going to be looking at them as much for this month now anyway um and that's basically the end of the month really because the new month's starting pretty soon so uh yeah three blu-ray pickups in i'm happy for these um thank you guys so much for watching if you have missed all my other previous videos i've kind of done a lot of videos this week uh house of gucci and um, the spider-man movies are coming out now so we've revisited spider-man which is they're going to be great um also my daniel craig movies are wrapped i've done the spectre revisited as well as then the daniel craig ranking of all my favorite rank daniel craig james bond movies and i've saw two great films king richard and encanto i think they're like the highest rated movies i've given any review so they're like the last week's lot of videos i've done a lot of videos this week and i've tried to like prioritize the channel so i'd appreciate it if you could all go and smash like over there and check out the videos if you're interested but yeah this week's blue rant is all over next week we're going to be heading to bristol so we're going to another cex store which i know has a ton of 4ks based on the app i also get paid on friday so expect a good one it's going to be good thank you guys so much for watching today's blu-ray hunt stay tuned subscribe for more and of course smash like button down below i will see you in the next one goodbye